I'm Dave and this is Austin Eats. In a recent video, I smoked and then grilled a Troy tip in my Kamado Joe. I've had a couple of viewers ask me what I like to do with leftover Troy tip. So, I thought I'd put together a video and show you three very easy recipes that you can make with leftover Troy tip. They're easy and they're right here on Austin Eats. So the question is, what are we going to do with leftover tri-tip roast? For the first dish, I'm going to slice it nice and thin, and then I'm going to stack it very high on a French dip roll, and I'm going to serve that with some wonderful horseradish cream sauce and some au jus dipping sauce, and that is going to be a wonderful French dip sandwich. For the second dish, I'm also going to slice it nice and thin, and then I'm going to grill that meat on my Kamado Joe on a grill plate, along with some onions until they're nice and brown, and I'm going to stack that high on a French roll with some melted Fontina cheese for an outrageously good Philly cheesesteak. And for the final dish, I'm going to slice this a little bit thicker, maybe about an eighth of an inch or so. And that is going to be grilled, again on the Kamado Joe grill plate, along with some red and yellow bell peppers and some sliced poblano peppers and some onions, of course, and that is going to be served up as some wonderful beef fajitas with some fresh flour tortillas. So, let's get cooking. For the French dip sandwich, I'm gonna slice about a half a pound of meat nice and thin. Then I'm gonna spread a horseradish sauce onto my freshly cut French roll. The horseradish sauce is just wonderful. It's, it's ground horseradish with some sour cream and a little salt and pepper. And once that's there, I'm gonna stack that roast beef nice and high. By the way, this was soaking in au jus on my stovetop for about 10 minutes. And then I'm gonna simply cut this up and serve it with the au jus. Ah, it just doesn't get better than a French dip sandwich. And it was absolutely delicious. Next up is the Philly cheese steak sandwich. So first I'm gonna slice a whole bunch of onion and then I'm gonna grill that in my Kamado Joe on my Lodge cooking grate. As soon as the onions start to turn brown, I'm gonna add my chopped meat. So here I just took some more of that finely sliced meat and chopped it up, threw it on the grill, mix it up, and it cooked, oh, I don't know, in about five minutes, maybe less, and then it's time to build the sandwich. And I simply took another one of those rolls, loaded up all of my chopped meat, and then I simply added about a third of a cup of melted Fontina cheese that I grated and melted in the microwave. Top that with the onions, and this smelled delicious, and it tasted even better. Finally, it's time to make some beef fajitas. So for this, I'm slicing the meat quite a bit thicker, about an eighth of an inch and I'm gonna grill it with some red, yellow, and green bell peppers and a little bit of poblano pepper that I sliced very thin. Get those vegetables going and then it's time to add the meat. This dish will cook in about five minutes. By the way, there's no need to cut off the fat that you may find on the top of your tri-tip. Most of it melted away when you've cooked it the first time and anything that's left over seems to just dissipate in this kind of cooking process. So I didn't trim the fat off any of these. Now it's time for fajitas. And there are three quick, easy ideas for leftover tri-tip. Hey, if you like the video, let me know and please subscribe. I've got new videos coming out every week. See you next time on Austin Eats. <laughs>